so let's start from the beginning now the first page that you have to do is page number three and the first activity is to trace and color so when you're tracing you have to be very careful you have to do it very slowly with a lot of patience so let's start And you can go on and trace it that's what you have to do for the second page as well that's page number four <clears throat> so you trace it and color it that's very easy and if you go to the next page here you have to trace the letters here also you have to be very careful when you're tracing Please be slow and patient when you're doing this. So we'll take the next page. Here also you have to trace the letters. That's page number six. And if you go to the next activity, you have to match the capital letter with its simple letters. Use a ruler for this. Since I don't have a ruler right now, I won't use it, but you can use a ruler. So here there are the capital letters and here there are the small letters or the simple letters. And you have to simply just match the capital letter. Now the first letter is Y, capital Y. And you'll have to find the simple letter from here. It's very easy. You just that. And the second one is capital V, like that. And L, like that, and go on. It's better if you can use a ruler for this. Now, the next thing that you have to do is to color the pictures. So, I think by now you know how to color pictures. So, I'm not going to elaborate on that. Now, you do have to color pictures for your exams as well. You have to remember that uh, coloring should be done very neatly. You can't leave any white spots in the middle. Plus, you can't send uh, colors outside out of the lines. You can't color out of the lines. So, that you have to be very careful. Uh, and I think that you know about that already. So, I'm not going to elaborate on that. I'll uh, go to the next page. Now starts our introductory work. So that is page 10. Now in this we have to be very careful. I think you have learned how to write capital and simple letters by now. So now we have to just use that knowledge and do the rest. And capital lakuru simple lakuru walunu liyanna dannawa kiyala mama hitanawa dan wena kota. Api ekapotaki verakalanti and a capital and simple lacrulilla, then e danuma aragena tamai api make a karane there. Right, let's start. So this is capital A, and how do you write simple A? Yes, here what they have told is fill in the blanks with simple letters, or you have to fill in the blanks with the other letter that you know. So this is capital A, and how do you write simple A? Like that. You should remember where to write the simple letter. That's the tricky part here. Capital B. Simple B. Capital C. Simple C. Capital D. Simple D. Capital E. Simple E. F. G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, 
P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Right. Now in the next page they have jumbled all the letters. It's not in the same order. It's not in the order of the alphabet A, B, C, D. So here there's A, here's there's capital N and W and so on. They make it P D by letter N. Make it P in this area. So you have to now think of the correct letter when you're writing. Capital A, simple A. But this is not capital B, this is capital N. So you have to write simple N. Now don't write capital B here because it's not capital B here. Okay. Sorry, don't write simple B here. It's not capital B here. This is capital W, simple W. And this is capital X. So you write simple X, capital M. Simple M, capital B. Now remember B, yes, this is one thing that a lot of children get confused with. Now B, you have to remember, is like number 6. Then B, 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 higher B, 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 D, A, B, 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 we have capital D here. D is the other way around. Okay. So this is B and this is D. And D is like 6. That you have to remember. B is like 6. You write it to the side of 6. Okay. So we'll go to the next page. Right here you have to do the whole thing. Right. You have to complete the whole page. Right. One thing is that this has been jumbled. So you should remember uh, not to write it in the correct order. Just see whether, uh, just see the letters and then write accordingly. Now here you have to write it in capital letters. Now capital letters is very, uh, they're very easy to write because they are all from the first line to the third line. As we did in the class, red line to the blue line. But here there are no red lines or blue lines. Here there are just just black lines so what you have to remember is this is one two three four they're like four lines so here uh, you can see that there are four lines one two three four and the capital letters are written from the first line to the third line so that's easy for you to keep in mind capital Right, we'll start. Capital A. Capital B. See, this is this is six. It's like six. See, that is simple B. So that's capital B. Then capital C. Capital D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, 
R S T U V W X Y Z so you can write it slowly i wrote it quickly because uh, i can't waste time on the video but then you can write it slowly but properly uh, you don't you don't get marks for writing it fast you get marks for writing it properly so that's one thing that you have to keep in mind always you don't get marks for writing it quickly yes of course you have to write it a bit quick when you are in the exam uh, but you have to be very careful about writing it properly. Right, we'll go to the next one. Now, here again, you have to write, fill in the blanks with capital letters. So, this is uh, simple, what was that? <laughs> simple D, is it? Because it's not like 6. 6 is B, right? This is simple D. So, you go capital D. And this is Q, so you go capital Q. Now, this is not P, okay? This is Q. This is how they, uh, the, the computer has it, okay? They don't have this little, little part there. So you have to be careful. P is actually this. See, this is P, okay? So be careful there. Q is P written the other side, right? Other way around. And capital I, capital F. A, T, this is B, see it's like 6, B, Y, and you can go on. This is jumbled, okay? This is not, that method of the world, and I have to make it, I have to make it, I have to make it, I have to make it. Right, now here, we have to fill in the blanks with capital or simple letters. Now see, here the first one is capital A, but the second one is not capital, it's simple. Simple B. Palavini akura capital, Devani akura simple. Ilangata I capital, I capital, capital, simple, capital, simple. Onna serma, serma patalula the right? So, Everything is jumbled here, capitals and simples and everything, all even the word order. But here the word order is the same. Sorry, the letter order is the same. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and go. It goes on like that. But they have jumbled capitals and small letters. So be careful. Capital A, simple A. Simple B, capital B. Capital C, simple C. Capital D, simple D, capital E, simple E, simple F, capital F. Like that you can go on writing this. Now here also everything is jumbled but not, not the letter order. The letter order is not jumbled again but the capitals and simples have been jumbled so this is simple a and you write capital a capital b and you write simple b so this is six okay right <laughs> then cap the simple c capital c and you go on writing like that now here capital simples letter order everything is jumbled you have to be very careful see the first one itself is a tricky one you have to see whether it's P or Q. Is it P or Q? It's Q, is it? It's not P. Yeah, P is somewhere else. P is here. Right? So be careful. So here, simple Q. You write capital Q. Simple U, capital U. They're all jumbled. So you have to know exactly what to write. That is the trick here. That is... Actually, it's not a trick. You have to know it. Right. Capital Y, simple Y. Okay? So, go on doing the whole thing. So, 
so then uh, now that kind of exercise those exercises are finished by page 16 so by the end of page 16 i'm sure you'll be able to do all of this you'll be a master of letters writing letters on the double rule right you should be able to write it properly on the double rule that's very very essential right so we'll go on to the next page which is page number 17 now in page number 17 again the question is write the following words in given spaces in the given space sorry so now they have given you a double rule here so see there's like four there are four lines one two three four lines you have to write the given words on the correct lines and that's it. Don't change it. You have to just rewrite it and nothing else. Okay. Don't change it from capital to simple here. Just write it. Just write it. Simply write it. Capital C is like that. Capital A. Capital N. Capital D, capital L, and capital E. So be very careful. You have to now count how many letters are there in these words. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 letters here. Check whether you have written 6 letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Don't omit even one word, one letter. Don't ekka akurakwat miskaranne pa. Don't miss even one letter. You'll they'll cut marks. The examiner will cut marks if you uh, omit one. Omit kyaane miss. If you miss one letter, the examiner will cut marks. So be careful. This is one very important or uh, a mistake that a lot of children do. Don't omit even one letter. Okay. Now we'll go on to the next one that is simple letters. Here, yes, simple. Are these in capitals or simples? They are in simple. Yes. So uh, let's go on to see. This is H, is it? Simple H. And this is simple O. This is simple U. This is s and this is e okay now again see one two three four five so there are five letters one two three four five there are five letters here we go on to the next one simple p simple ah now is this correct is this correct is this correct no a lot of children do this mistake. They, they forget what they are doing. They lose focus. So don't lose your focus. Write it. If it's simple, it's in simple. You can't jumble capital and simple letters. You have to write it properly. E, N, C, I, L. Then here it's in capital only. T, R, Double E or E and E. Be very careful when you're writing. Now, there's a little problem here. We'll see the next one. This is page 17. We'll go on to page 18. Okay, now tell me uh, this word, this word, this one, cow. Is this in capital or simple? What do you think? Yes, a lot of children think that this is in simple, but just see. Compare this to the other words. You see, see, compare this to this. Now, M is small, is it? It's smaller than this O. Is it? This O is bigger than this O, is it? Right. So, then what is this? This is in capitals, not in simple. So, you start from here. First line to the third line. First line to the third line. Red line to the blue line. Be very careful. And when you're writing these long words, if, if you are not sure about how many letters are there, please number them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
you have to write eight letters so you start from here capital c capital o capital m then number four capital p number five capital u number six capital t number seven capital e number eight capital r right if you get confused at least cut them you see now if if you get confused i think that's there here as well i've given this twice because a lot of children get do this mistake like 99 percent children don't write this properly so let's see if it's easy we will we'll cut cut these letters as soon as we write so that is number one we go one two three four five six seven eight so we start capital c cut capital o cut capital m cut capital p cut capital u cut capital t cut capital e cut capital r so be careful when you right we'll go to the next lesson now here you all have to study the the spellings of these words for your exam so there are if you take from page 19 we can find all the words that we have to study until page 25 so all of you have to study the spellings of these words and we'll see how the questions come for these for these words but all the words all all these words will be tested in the introductory exam of the writing exam so you have to know the spelling so that's one thing that you have to do from page 19 to 25 you have the vocabulary so you have to study the spellings and here what we do is during the class time we do this test each and every day we take one page that means five words and i tell you all to study and come i tell you all to study the spellings and come and we do it in the class but since we don't have the luxury of having the class these days i want you all to try it out so first study the first five words study it well and then close it and see whether you can do the test so when you are doing this test be very careful write it properly on the double rule now some children write it like that write it like that write it like that so now this is wrong or they write on all three lines now we know to write it properly on the double rule listen it api danna ane den double rule ekey kohomada liyanne kiyala den api එහෙම හේ ලියන්න හොඳ නැහැ අපි හරි තැන ලියන්න ඕනේ දැන් හැමෝම දන්නවා ඩබල් රූල් එකේ ලියන්න නේද ඒත් මම දැකලා තියෙනවා එක්සෑම් පේපර්ස් වලත් සමහරක් වෙලාවට එක එක ඒව ලියනවා ඉතින් එහෙම බෑ right now you know that you have to write on the double rule so wherever there is a double rule like this you have to write it properly on the double rule so that's one thing that you have to keep in mind wherever you go if they have provided or given a double rule you have to write it properly on that and don't write it uh, here and there or don't write it three times okay so you have to keep that in mind now let's write that so what is that that's a box is it it's not a bat it's a box so we we'll write like that like that you can write so you can take five words per day study them properly and put the date here and do the test so if you can honestly do it you will be able to study all of it very quickly and you can get ready for the exam so we'll take the next 
section so there is space for you to do the test here right for all of them right. now we'll go on to the next lesson now the next lesson not the lesson actually we are using these words which are there in the vocabulary list to do these other exercises so what's the question write the correct name under each picture so you have to write the correct word under each picture so they've given these words okay so they've given these words you don't have to know the spelling but knowing the spelling will help you because some of these spellings uh, are a bit complicated but if you know the, them you can just write them but you can double check them here right they, you can double check these the ones that you have written from this given box so now let's start writing so what's that now the main thing here is you have to be very methodical right you have to be very methodical when you do this right so we'll start from the first one so that's a book right so you can just write if you know the spelling you can write it okay fine you can write it uh, you can write it in simple or you can write it the way they have given <coughs> excuse me so uh, so I would write it in simple anyway and if you check this this is book so you have written book here now and now you cut it simple as that right and then you take the next one that's a fish so you write it now if you you can find it from here so where is fish so that's a f f fish f fish okay so you can write it or you can write it uh, capital as well but don't write the whole thing in capital you can write the first letter in capital because they have given it like that okay and you cut it then you take the next one that is a jeep so you try to find it from here so if you want to write the first letter in capital that's fine j double e P, but don't write the whole thing in capital don't write all these letters in capital just write only the first letter if you if, if you want to or you can write it in simple as well and now what on earth is this now this is a bit confusing is it so if you don't know that you can just leave it just leave it because you don't know it you can't it's not clear the picture is not clear Plus, there are like eyes and nose and okay, there's a mouth there and you have no idea what that is. So, just leave it. Okay, and then we'll go on to the next one. What's that? That's a vase, right? A vase, vase, V-A-S-E. And the next one is a chair. Okay, we cut vase. Then chair, chair. C-H-A-I-R Then the next one is a cup Is it? That's a cup So we go on here Cup, 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 cup They have given it Cut it And you can write cup Then the next one is a bat Bat, 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 bat Then the next one is a bell. Bell. B E L L. Yes. Now some children by mistake, <coughs> sorry, or uh, by thinking about the phonics, you know, some of them write B A L L. Uh, that's wrong actually. Right? That's ball. It's not bell right some of them get confused so if you get confused 
like don't get confused you don't have to get confused because you have these words here okay so you don't have to get confused you can like you know if you are not sure of the spelling just go up to this box and check whether it's b-a-l b-a-l-l or b-e-l-l so you can write that then the next one is what's that that's a table okay so we have to cut bell there sorry i couldn't cut it table 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 and we can write t a b l e and the next one is lamp l a m p lamp next one is okay what is that so we we have glass and we have bottle left is it so this looks like a glass is it this i think it looks like a glass so we'll write glass now g l a double s and we cut it okay so what's left is bottle right now if you look at this picture you will see that it does look like a bottle a, a walking talking bottle <laughs> right so i actually put this here i use this for that same purpose to see whether you all will use this properly you know so this is not this is not at all clear but if you do it properly if you do it methodically you can find this word so that's bottle we we'll write b o t t l e okay so keep up with that keep to the same methodology without you know doing it from here and there keep that method you know keep be be very methodical when you are doing it start from the first one and then go on පිළිවෙලට කරන්න කියලා තමයි මේ ටීචර් කියන්නේ මුල ඉඳලා ලස්සනට පිළිවෙලට කරගෙන එන්න. එතකොට දන්න ඇති දෙයක් තියෙනවා නම් මේ විදිහට අන්තිමට ඉතුරු වෙනවා. right? ඒ වගේම මේක මේ කැපිටල් අකුර පළවෙනියෙන් ලියලා තියෙනවා නම් ඔයගොල්ලන්ට කැපිටල් අකුරෙන් ලියන්න පුළුවන්. සිම්පල් අකුරෙන් ලියුවත් ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ. හැබැයි මෙතන කැපිටල් අකුර තියෙනවා නම් ඒ විදිහටම ලියන්න. එතකොට ඕගලන්ට කිසිම දෙයකින් කිසිම දෙයකට පැතලෙන්නේ නැහැ. So you can go on with the rest. it's the same thing that you have to do there are a lot of exercises here there are like five exercises here so the last one uh, is out of the vocabulary list there are some words like nut and lorry boy tray so these are not there in your vocabulary list i've just put them to see whether you all can read it and understand it and do it <coughs> so you don't have to know these spellings they are not in your exam list but if you can do it you're a genius okay right so let's go on to the next lesson or the next exercise so it's all uh, that's page 41 this again is from your vocabulary list okay here i have not given other words it totally depends all this the whole exercise depends on your words list right so we we'll start from the beginning now the first one is this is easy is it bat okay <coughs> that's b a t bat then uh, the next one is okay you can take this now there are two uh, the, the the same spellings have been given in 2 and 3 so you have to decide what to write here so i would write ball and bell here now don't write ball and ball for both write ball here and bell for this right so don't write the same thing then we'll go on to the next one box bed bus they are very easy bag hat so you can write cap or cup for this now you see these words are given 
in the list so i am using these spellings so you if you write c a p as cap that is also correct but i am writing cup here because cup is the word that we have in the vocabulary list but if you write cap that's totally fine cat car jug tin key van door dog fan pen bottle b o t t l e fish lamp jeep fork tree file vase glass house knife light room candle mirror chair clock comb ruler dish pencil saucer picture p i c t u r e spoon s p o o n torch watch w a t c h table train plate cupboard okay it's cupboard calendar as i have taught you all it's it's uh, spelled as calendar c a l e n d a r okay right so here they have given the question is to fill in the blanks with vowel letters so we have written all the vowel letters now here it's to fill in the blanks with consonant letters so we have to write the consonant letters bat ball bell so you can write capital or simple okay if you want you can write capital bell box sorry box box bed so you can write b b e e b w e for b uh, but that word is not there in the vocabulary list so you can uh, write what is there in the vocabulary list but then if you didn't write that that's fine but it should be a proper word like b or something like that you can't write uh, a word that does not exist in the english language right then this van bus that or you can use uh, another one okay that book or bag you can use bag because you have written bat here so you can use bag then cup tin you can write car you can write cap but then it's not there there are four you can write cat dog jug key dog and fan pen bottle jeep broom kite vase lamp candle chair clock comb file fork table file dish knife mirror pencil
pencil, write glass tree, picture, plate, S-A-U-C-E-R, saucer, R-U-L-E-R, ruler, spoon, torch, house, watch, cupboard, calendar. Okay, so those are the spellings. Okay, here I just realized that uh, file has been duplicated so that's fine you can write that or you can write some other word without duplicating it's like fine or something but anyway it should be a proper word you can't be inventing words you should use proper english words here with the proper spelling right we'll go to the next one now the next one is to draw the following pictures and color Sorry for that. Draw the following pictures and color. So you have to first draw them properly. You have to draw big pictures, right? Now this is there in the exam. Make the exam. Make the inner prashnya. Make a look what and no You have to draw big pictures. So for example, watch. You draw the watch big as life, right? And you can put like you know twelve six like that. You can put like that. And after that, you have to use colors. Now, you can take any color you like. Uh, it's better if it's appropriate because now y'all are, you know, y'all are old to understand. Y'all are not five-year-olds. Y'all are old to understand, old enough to understand that some words have, you know, some pictures have colors. Now, a tree, we normally draw it in green, is it? I mean, we, we color it using green color so you can use that so you can't i don't know uh, you can't use pink for a tree but then there are some some trees have those colors but try as much as you can to use appropriate colors right so let's write uh, let's draw now color this so first as i have taught you color or you have to draw an outer line a very significant outer line like that tadding me vatete oe iri tika enda ganna ite pase athule lavata paata karanne you have to color it in a lighter shade inside so it's like a lighter shade like that so then it can be seen now if you do this now for example if you draw the van like that okay yes i am also not good at drawing but you see this is enough now you can you do realize that this is a van is it so you can draw simple pictures but it should be recognizable now you use that now if you color it like that Okay, so you've colored it. Nothing, uh, the colors have not gone out. But then, can you see whether this is a van? I mean, it's not properly defined. So that's why I always tell to define the outer lines. Then, the picture is clear. Because you should understand that this is an English exam. This is not a drawing class. It's not a drawing exam. So, whatever that you draw should be very clear. Even if it's not drawn properly, if it's clear, they will give you marks. But of course, it should be very neat. Pili belt at the end, no ne. Eva gamer, last sent a me with it at the end, no ne. Habay, a kami last sent a mani no ne kila deak ne. Habay, a a vachene. Harriet, uh, Anunagan, Puluang with theatre, picheka and then no ne. Right, that's all they are going to look at in the exam. So, a lot of children lose marks for this section because the pictures are not clear. So, what you should understand is this is an English exam and not a drawing exam. So, you should draw it properly. But, it should be clearer more than being creative. So, you should draw create a very clear pictures and try your best to use the appropriate color. Now, there are a lot of... Uh, 
lot of exercises for that you can do it and this is mainly from your vocabulary list so if you okay there are some words here that are not from your vocabulary list but then teddy bear balloon bird those are there for pre-introductory uh, exam those are those words are from the pre-introductory exam so you can use those they might give those words as well for the exam so we'll practice that in the class as well now we'll go on to the next question right here what you have to do is you have to draw what they have told you to draw and write 10 things in this picture using this sentence structure the sentence structure is there is a there is a okay so what have you to draw you have to draw your house so you draw your house right and write 10 things in it in it inside your house not outside in, in it using the following structure so they have given an example there is a bat 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 sentence structure so for example now uh, you can draw inside your house so there is like we just say there's a fan like that and there's a light okay i don't know i'm not a good person to teach you drawing because i'm not a good painter or a drawing person right okay then ball that what else is there in your house mm, a bed so now you can use the words in your vocabulary list you don't have to use words outside the vocabulary list. So, like there's like a little playing toy car, a toy van, a toy bus, then a chair, then a table. They're all in your vocabulary list. They're all in your words list. So, we see how many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How they are 10. Right. Now, you have to write the sentences like that there t h e r e there keep space is keep space a so we'll start from here fan keep space f a n full stop then we'll write the next one light the is a light l i g h t like that you can write 10 sentences like that so don't just leave this color this make it neat and nice and please don't write small letters here you you have they've given a lot of space to write so use big letters you know write in big letters so that it will be very clear then here draw your classroom again find 10 things in your classroom inside your class in it inside your classroom so for example a table chair pen pencil broom okay bus book bag bottle my gosh there are a lot there are a lot of words that you can take so just select 10 of them draw them and write 10 sentences like this they are is a pen if you want to write plurals that's fine but since you have not learned it here i have not added it i have not included it to this to this question so you can write the singular sentence structure only but if you want to write plural that's fine but be careful you have to use there are pens and add the s as well right so for now, for this book, you can just stick to the singular words only. If you want, you can write the plurals, but you have to write it properly. And if you don't write it properly, I'm sorry, I can't give you full marks for that, right? So try to just stick only to the singular. Right, so we have draw your classroom there, draw your bedroom. This is inside, okay? And... Draw things that you find outdoors. Now, a lot of children draw flowers, trees, bushes, 
and uh, things like that but the problem is the word flower is not there in your vocabulary list isn't it so why do you want to draw a flower you can draw something else like a lorry or a van or a bus or something like that I mean, draw things that you find outdoor so it's not just outside your garden it can be outside on the road as well right so cars vans buses go on the road you can write that you can draw them and use it because those words are there in your vocabulary list then may prashna karana kota make a naha exam make a may vage prashna kota exam ekke naha make a teacher nikan deela tiyenne habai metana teacher balanne ogolanta puluwam da kiyala ogolo danna words walin ogolo danna wachana walin sentences hada ganna puluwam da kiyala thamai teacher balanne iting ogolanta puluwam ogolo danna wachana vitarak thora gena me exercise ekak karanna dan metana outdoors kiwama flower kiyana eka godak ay liyena habai flower flower wala spelling samharak walawata danagena inne naha ෆ්ලවර් කියන එක ස්පෙලිංග්ස් දැනගන්න ඕනේ ඊළඟ අවුරුද්ද වෙනකොට හැබැයි තාම දන්නේ නැත්නම් ඒක ප්‍රශ්නයක් කරගන්න එපා එලියේ තියෙන අනිත් දේවල් ඕගලන්ට ලියන්න පුළුවන් රයිට් ඉතින් ඒ හින්න මේ මේ ප්‍රශ්නේ කළ කළ හැකි ප්‍රශ්නයක් බැරි එකක් නෙමෙයි රයිට් ඔල්දෝ දිස් ඉස් නොට් දෙයා ඉන් ද සිලබස් යු කැන් ඩු ඉට් රයිට් සෝ ද නෙක්ස්ට් ඉන් page 51 they have given the vocabulary list again right and then there are some uh, yes some of these to do so this is actually uh, for the speaking skills exam so you can just keep that for now and that's it thank you very much